assalamu alaikum dear students today we will start uh, unit number 5th universalization of elementary education so students let's first uh, we will understand the concept of universalization of elementary education in ancient time education was a privilege which relatively few people enjoyed but today it is generally accepted as everyone has a right for education education shall be free and compulsory at least in elementary and fundamental stages article 45 of the constitution which validated that free and compulsory education for all children until they complete the age of 14 years would be provided by 1960 the 86th constitutional amendment carried out in 2002 added a new article 21a in right to freedom the article 21a relates to right to education which reads the government that government shall provide free and compulsory education to all children from the age of 6 to 14 in such a manner as uh, the state may be law determined now all the states are providing free and compulsory education to all children from age of 6 to 14 years now stages of universalization of education the universalization of elementary education has got the following stages number 1 universalization of provision it means that schools facilitates facilities be provided to all the children between the age group of 6 to 14 in the country and that the school should be within the walking distance from the home of a child this is possible only when we will open more schools from for the more children to a fairly large extent we have succeeded in this direction now universal uh, universality of enrollment it means that all uh, children between the age group of 6 to 14 be enrolled by the primary schools the kothari commission thinks that by the year 1970 81 uh, 90% of all children between the age group of 6 to 11 will be enrolled in schools number 3 universalization of retention by this is meant that once a child joins the school but should remain there till the completion of primary course now a problem is of universalization is the number one at a non cooperation of parents more of the most of the parents in india are illiterate they do not bother about the education of their children as they do not cooperate with the teachers and refuse to send their children to school number second large birth rate all efforts to make primary education compulsory and free to bring everyone under the roof of the school up to elementary level are being frustrated by the tremendous increase in population in spite of enrolling vast number of children in our schools the explosion of population does not allow us to improve the condition number 
third, poverty of parents. Due to poor economic conditions, parents are forced to keep their children away from school. What to say of providing books and education to their children, the poor parents find it difficult to provide to Opportunity for improving human capabilities to all children. Though provision of community owned equal quality education in mission mode. Resistance to the education of girls. Orthodox parents offer traditional resistance to the education of girls. They consider it wrong to allow the girls to go out of their homes, and as they do not want to send their daughters to school. Dearth of teachers and adequate equipment. Universal, free and compulsory education would need a large number of teachers and educate equipments. Shortage of teachers generally results in discipline and inefficient teaching. Now, uh, remedies uh, for universalization of elementary education. This is number first term, education of the parents. Illiteracy of masses is a great hurdle in the expansion of elementary education. Unless the parents are educated, they will not cooperate with the authorities. Number second, education as backward group. Education of backward groups. Expansion of education has to be planned with reference to the up-privileged and most backward sections of the society facilities for educating the children are uh, backward groups like the schedule schedule uh, nomads or tribal people should be increased iske baad aata financial incentive to parents financial assistance should be given to the needy parents financial Incentives like free books, attempts of stationary midday meals, attendance, scholarships, free uniform, free transportation, and free health services should be provided to the poverty of the parents does not send in the way of the education of their children. Now, controlling population. If the population goes on increasing at a fast rate, the possibility of bringing all under the roof of the school will diminish. The growth of population needs to check through the adoption of population, various family planning companion. इसके बाद आता है ओवरकमिंग रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ पेरेंट्स टू एजुकेशन ऑफ गर्ल्स पब्लिक ओपिनियन शुड बी क्रिएटेड इन फेवर ऑफ गर्ल्स एजुकेशन थ्रू एनरोलमेंट ट्राइवल्स कॉपरेशन ऑफ वोमेन सोशल वर्कर्स सेपरेट स्कूल शुड बी एस्टेब्लिश्ड फॉर गर्ल्स पेरेंट्स शुड बी परस्यूड टू सेंड दियर डॉटर्स टू एजुकेशन स्कूल्स Where separate schools cannot be established for small number of girls. So in uh, next class we will discuss initiatives of elementary education.